ए मार्शल ए पी गरुड परम विशिष्ट सेवा मेडल वायुसेना मेडल ए डी सी वी एक्सटेंड वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इट इज इंडीड अ मैटर ऑफ प्रिवलेज टू हैव यू विद अस चो टू कमेमोरेट फिफ्टी ईयर्स ऑफ द नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव इंडो पार्क वो द ऑनरेबल गवर्नर ऑफ महाराष्ट्र श्री विद्यासागर राव विल बी द चीफ गेस्ट फॉर टू डेज इवेंट्स नमस्कार देवी और सज्जनों एयर ऑफिसर कमांडिंग इन चीफ दक्षिणी वायु कमान एयर मार्शल ए पी गरुड परम विशिष्ट सेवा मेडल वायु सेना मेडल एडीसी की ओर से हम आप सभी का हार्दिक स्वागत करते हैं उन्नीस के भारत पाक युद्ध के 50 साल मनाने के लिए एक शानदार शो विंग्स ऑफ ग्लोरी 2015 का हिस्सा बनने के लिए हम आपके आभारी हैं महाराष्ट्र के माननीय राज्यपाल श्री विद्यासागर राव आज के मुख्य अतिथि होंगे आज की शाम में एयर वॉरियर ड्रिल टीम द्वारा प्रदर्शन एनसीपीए मुंबई कथक केंद्र और एमटीडीसी की ओर से सांस्कृतिक कार्यक्रम और अंत में एयर वॉरियर सिंफनी ऑर्केस्ट्रा का संगीत समारोह सम्मिलित है इवनिंग सेलिब्रेशन विल ऑल्सो इंक्लूड अल्टीफेस कल्चरल शो ऑफ सॉन्ग एंड डांस ऑर्गेनाइज बाई द एन सी पी ए the mumbai kathak kendra and the mtdc along with a scintillating musical extravaganza of orchestra music performed by the air warrior symphony orchestra of the indian air force the governor of maharashtra shri vidya sagar rao air officer commanding in chief southern air command air marshal ap garud shall grace today's occasion today we are also privileged to have with us serving and retired officers from the defense services veterans of the 1965 indo pak war officials from the civil administration children from various schools in mumbai and other distinguished guests this fine evening we extend a very warm welcome to each one of you maharashtra ke rajyapal shri vidya sagar rao vayu officer commanding in chief dakshini vayu command air marshal ap garud bhi is avsar par upasthit honge aaj yahan seva vrat aur seva nivrit sainya adhikari 1965 ke bharat pak yuddh ke diggaj नागरिक प्रशासन के अधिकारी मुंबई के विभिन्न स्कूलों के बच्चे और अन्य विशिष्ट अतिथि भी उपस्थित होंगे लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन एट दिस जंक्शन वी वुड लाइक टू मेक अ फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट्स यू ऑल आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू काइंडली स्विच ऑफ योर मोबाइल फोन्स फॉर द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द इवेंट सिंस दे इंटरफेयर विद द कम्युनिकेशन एंड साउंड सिस्टम्स दैट आर इन यूज हियर आफ्टर द अराइवल ऑफ द ऑनरेबल गवर्नर द नेशनल एंथम विल बी प्लेड बाय द बैंड ऑल प्रेजेंट आर टू राइज एंड स्टैंड इन अटेंशन On completion of the ceremony all guests are requested to remain seated till the departure of the main guests thereafter you will be ushered to the exits for easy and smooth departure from the venue and most importantly ladies and gentlemen in case of any emergency please do not panic our well trained teams are in the position to handle any situation in the most professional manner devi aur sajjano is mode par hum kuch mahatvapurna ghoshnaye karna chahte hain कृपया अपने मोबाइल फोन बंद कर दें वे यहाँ उपयोग में संचार और साउंड सिस्टम के साथ हस्तक्षेप करते हैं माननीय राज्यपाल के आगमन पर राष्ट्रीय गान बैंड द्वारा बजाया जाएगा उस समय सभी उपस्थित खड़े हो जाएं। समारोह संपन्न होने पर मुख्य अतिथियों के प्रस्थान तक बैठे रहने का हम आपसे अनुरोध करते हैं और सबसे महत्वपूर्ण बात किसी भी आपात स्थिति में घबराए नहीं हमारी प्रशिक्षित टीम किसी भी स्थिति को संभालने में सक्षम है लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन मुंबई स्पेशली द आइकॉनिक गेट वे ऑफ इंडिया इज अबाउट टू विटनेस अ स्मॉल पीस ऑफ हिस्ट्री इन मेकिंग द इंडियन एयर फोर्स हैज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड विंग्स ऑफ ग्लोरी 2015 व्हिच इज अ मैग्निफिसेंट शो टू कमेमोरेट 50 इयर्स ऑफ 1965 इंडो पाक वॉर द इवेंट हैज बीन ऑर्केस्ट्रेटेड बाय एयर वाइस मार्शल अनिल गुलानी एंड ऑल पर्सनल ऑफ हेड क्वार्टर्स मैरिटाइम एयर ऑपरेशंस under the aegis of headquarters south western air command maharashtra tourism and development corporation is now also co-hosting the event under the direction from the honorable chief minister shri devendra fadnavis the city of mumbai has a very old association with the indian air force the people of mumbai had contributed through the bombay war gift fund to raise two air force squadrons in may 1941 and april 1942 Owing to this, two Air Force squadrons were initially named after Mumbai. 
Besides this, there were numerous contributions by the Bombay War Gift Fund to other Indian Air Force squadrons. The ceremony is a part of the year-long celebration marking the 50 years of 1965 India-Pakistan War, which would culminate on 22nd September 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, as said before, this year the Indian Air Force commemorates the Golden Jubilee of the 1965 Indo-Pak War. This year, the Air Force pays homage to the valiant men and the flying machines that played a significant part in the campaign and brought laurels to the nation. As always, the Indian Air Force brought about a definite shift in the conduct of the campaign, which influenced the overall outcome of the war. The active participation of all types of aircraft and the exploits of the Indian Air Force personnel have etched themselves in the annals of history, and especially so in the chapters of the 1965 war. It is on these glorious foundations that the Indian Air Force has marched on and built itself into a formidable force of men, machine and metal. We take this momentous occasion to pay our overwhelming tribute to all personnel who took part in the conflict and truly espouse the motto of the Indian Air Force, touch the sky with glory through their exploits. The Indian Air Force pays homage to those who attained martyrdom in the line of duty. These ideals and glorious examples of our rich heritage form the foundation upon which the Indian Air Force is now transforming itself into a modern, dynamic and potent force. The 1965 Indo-Pak War was a glorious testament to the Indian Air Force's skills, commitment and professionalisms in times of conflict. Led ably by the then Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Arjun Singh, Distinguished Flying Cross, our living legend, the Indian Air Force markedly influenced the outcome of the conflict by quickly deploying and inflicting heavy attrition on the adversary. Fighter aircraft like the Hunters, Nats, Vampires, MiG-21s, Mysteers, Canberra Bombers, Mi-4 and Alouette helicopters, and the transport complement of Packets, Dakotas, AN-12s, IL-14s and Otters were actively involved in ensuring a well-coordinated campaign against the adversary. The Indo-Pak War of 1965 began in early August, and initially the fighting was confined mainly to the ground. With an inventory consisting of 26 fighter squadrons, four bomber squadrons, the Indian Air Force ably took on the might of the Pakistan Air Force, comprising F-86 Sabres, F-104 Starfighters, and B-57 Bombers. It maintained vigil over both the western and eastern borders. The Indian Air Force assets included Hunters, Nats, Vampires, MiG-21s, Mysteers and Tufanis, Canberra Bombers, Mi-4 and Aleut Helicopters, and the transport complement of Packets, Dakotas, AN-12s, IL-14s, Caribous and Otters. This conflict was the very first time that both India and Pakistan had pitted their air forces in combat with each other in defining the direction of the campaign. We are truly honored to have with us many veterans of the 1965 war and their families. And we believe that today's celebration of that glorious campaign will be a befitting tribute. May we take the honor to make a mention of Wing Commander J.M. Nath, retired Mahavir Chakra and Bar, who is a war veteran and is amongst us today. A true war hero, he was decorated with the Mahavir Chakra twice, once during the 1962 war and the next time in the 1965 war. We will now acquaint you with his exploits during the war. Taking a leaf out of a book called From the Kutch to Chumb, the, a record of the Indo-Pak War of 1965, we have a record of Wing Commander Nath's forays into Pakistan. It says, Unknown to the Pakistanis and even to many of the Indian side, own Canberra PR-57 was being regularly flown by an intrepid pilot over key Pakistani locations in broad daylight for photographic information. The pilot was squadron leader Jagmohan Nath, a veteran of the 1962 operations. Nath already had a Mahavir Chakra under his belt for the daring photo recce missions he carried out over Tibet at the height of the 1962 war with China. Perhaps the only operations carried out by Indian Air Force aircraft not belonging to transport or helicopter units. Nath's unit number 106 SPR squadron was the Air Force equivalent of the Army Headquarter Reserve. 
They operated directly under the Chief of Air Staff, Arjun Singh, and their level of briefing and mission objectives were always top secret, known only to the Chief and the pilots on the mission. To this end, Nath always had special access directly to the Chief's office. The squadron was commanded by Wing Commander M.K. Acte. Typical missions carried out before the operations broke out on 1st September were sorties over forward areas to photograph enemy army formations. Photo recce sorties in a Canberra were not for the meek hearted. They had to be carried out in broad daylight at extremely low altitudes. So we had Wing Commander Nath flying a huge aircraft like the Canberra at less than 50 feet of altitude, climbing to 12,000 feet to take pictures and then diving down to the same low-level altitude on his way back home. It was a miracle that Nath came back unscathed. 5th September brought a new task for Nath, to take a Canberra to the Lahore sector in the Ichogil Canal area and to take photographs along it. No doubt this was in preparation for the impending Indian Army move across the international border. The Army would then get needed information not only on the fortification and bridges but also on the degree of preparedness of Pakistani army formations. Accordingly, Nath took off from Agra in his PR-57 and then proceeded over Pathan Court. After crossing over from Pathan Court into Pakistan territory, he turned southwest to go over the Ichogal Canal area to start his filming. As was usual with his sorties, the timing and routing of the sortie were not disclosed to other Indian air bases. As soon as the task at hand was accomplished and as Nath turned back towards Indian territory, he noticed two Pakistan Air Force Sabres trying to get in a position to intercept him. As he was almost over Indian territory or had already crossed over, Nath called out over the RT for help from Indian fighters. Meanwhile, Wing Commander Woolen was flying back in his MiG-21 to Pathan Court after completing a regular show of force sortie over the forward areas. Woolen was on landing approach when he heard Nath's call. Though low on fuel, Woolen elected 